Hello again guys, I got another very interesting product to take a look at today. This is the Z-Edge Rhythm Music Light. Hopefully a very quick and simple video. This is an LED light bulb you'll screw into a lamp of your choosing, but it's also a Bluetooth speaker and it's all controlled using an app. Open the box up. Shouldn't be much in here. You get a thank you special offer. Not exactly a special offer, it's just a warranty card. You've got a user guide. Gives you an installation guide just in case you don't know how to screw in a light bulb. Insert old how many software developers does it take to screw in a light bulb joke. None, it's a hardware problem. Moving on. And then there's info in here about the app as well. And here's the bulb. As you can see, this is the traditional screw-in base bulb, E27. On the end, you have your LED ring as well as the speaker grill. Very curious to see how much light this puts out and how much sound this puts out. So let's go ahead and get the app going. You can see I've downloaded it here in the Google Play Store. It's called Z Edge Rhythm. Go ahead and open it up. It says Z Edge will bring both a light and music. Slide to start. Music light, we're combining music and color. So on and so forth, so on and so forth. Tap to start. Okay, and now it's searching for the device. And unfortunately, the device is here in my hand, not hooked up. Hey, slightly different angle. I've gone ahead and screwed in the light bulb over there, and that three bulb light here. <laughs> Apparently I did not have the light switch turned on. So when I turned the switch on, the light started changing colors and everything. Turned off the background lights, now you can see it a little bit better. So it's sitting there at a bright red color. It says I need to go into Bluetooth on my phone before doing anything else. And I do see Z Edge B1 in there. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And it just beeped at me. So apparently it paired up. It says connected to Z Edge B1, found one device. So we'll tap on it. And you can see it says light control. So you've got lighting, reading, Sleeping, cinema, romantic, ocean, grassland, sunrising, and customize. And for customize, you can pick whatever color you want. So I could make it green if I wanted it to. Colors probably aren't playing particularly well on camera, but... <laughs> Disco party. There you go. I'm just swiping my finger around on the screen for that. Let me hit save. You can change the brightness and the dimness here. So you can see it's going dimmer and brighter. Turn the light off and back on. Not really a huge fan of that being the whole switch for it. I would like for it to be a little bit larger. But as you can see, you've got a large amount of different options for controlling the lighting. You've also got a button here for music. So I guess you can play back music using the app. You've got the alarm option. It shows reflash, alarm, and add. So you can add an alarm. We're gonna set one for 9.06 a.m. See what happens. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. It is playing an alarm. And I just hit stop and it stopped. That's actually really cool. An alarm light bulb. Let me turn it off and try to set an alarm for 9.07. We'll see how it works here in just a minute. While we're waiting, here on the last page, the settings page, you can change the name of it. There's a sound indicator. There's a sleep mode where you can turn it off after a certain amount of time. You can update the firmware. It says we're on the latest version, version 12. There's frequently asked questions. Gives you Lots of info there. Now the cool thing here, it does say you can control it using the app, but you can also play music using your other favorite player. Oh, it's 907. So it went off on its own. And it did turn the light on, so that's nice. And when I hit stop, the light stayed on. So I have to actually come over here and turn it back off if I want it off. Cool. And then there's an About Us if you wanted to learn more about the company, even though it doesn't really say anything. Yeah, it doesn't even have anything clickable in there. So let's try playing something back on it. And just to make sure I have rights to do it, I'm just gonna play back one of my own videos using the YouTube app. Okay, so far it doesn't sound amazing, but it's a little teeny speaker inside of a light bulb. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and It does get decently loud though. All right, first impressions of the sound of the speaker itself. For one, if you're doing it over Bluetooth, it's gonna be delayed, so don't intend to watch videos using it. I normally try not to do that with Bluetooth because there normally is a little bit of a sync issue. And I have seen something similar out of the Devoom Aura box that I use for my speaker over there because it does have two different controllers in it for Bluetooth, one for the light, one for sound. There will be a noticeable delay in the audio, so just don't expect to watch videos with it. In terms of the sound quality itself, it kind of sounds like it's coming out of a light bulb. There's not a whole lot of bass to it. It's kind of tinny. And when you get to the maximum audio level with it, it vibrates a bit so you can hear it. As a bit of a novelty, being able to say, I can play sound from my light bulb, it's really, really cool. If you're planning to use it as a primary speaker, I'm gonna say it's probably not gonna be the best option. Still really cool. Seems to put out a pretty decent amount of light. Even though it doesn't look like it at the moment, it is putting out a pretty decent amount. And the fact that you can easily customize it to be whatever you want it to be is very nice. I would kind of like to see more options inside of the app in terms of what you can do with the light. 
Right now you can set it to one lighting setting or another and that's it. So you can choose one color and one brightness and that's it. I probably would not use the feature but it would be nice to see a feature where you could do a, a strobe or a rolling pattern. I've seen that in a lot of other LED bulbs. But as it stands I don't think it's a bad option at all. The bulb sells for $39.99 on Amazon so it's a little bit of an investment in terms of buying one bulb that is controllable from your smartphone. And because it is controlled over Bluetooth it's not like you're going to have a remote to control it. You're going to have to use a phone to do it every time. And because I was kind of curious I went ahead and turned the light off and back on and it does not retain the setting that you had on it previously so it goes back to a default state anytime you turn it off and back on but as soon as it reconnected with the app it picked back up on that customized setting that I had for it so I guess that's another thing to keep in mind about it interesting option I'll put a link down in the description to where you can check it out if you're interested as always thank you guys so much for watching remember to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to receive more of my videos when they become available we'll see you again next time pull this dummy out of it. Now one of the problems I had with it on the Nexus 5X is that this side never quite met up with the phone right. I mean you can see it's still popping loose there. But let us see how this works on this phone.